Hey, it's Arik from Firearms Nation, and once again, we are here to do another dry fire drill. And just like before, I have my SIG P320 empty, empty. I have a mag full of dummy rounds, which I'm gonna start off with in the gun. And I have my timer. So for today's dry fire drill, I want to continue what we started the first time. In the first one, you can see up here, we discussed simply drawing the gun to a target. And this is going to help build up that natural index, that natural point of aim. So no matter what you're doing, you're always going to aim in on the target with your gun. You draw the gun, you know you're going there. When you start doing transitions, you're going to have that same natural point of aim. You have to do it over and over again in order to build it up. It doesn't happen any other way. But for today's, we're adding one other thing to that portion. And that is getting the finger on the trigger. If you recall, when we drew the gun, I was simply drawing the gun and my finger was indexed on the side of the frame. Now, what I want you to do is when you draw, you're gonna get that finger prepped on that trigger. As I come up, fingers on the trigger and it preps. I got a good grip, my elbows in the right position, Good lean forward. You have everything the way I want to see it with the sights, whether you have a hard side focus or an indirect, indirect, I should say, side focus. From a different angle. A little bit on the draw there. We'll do that again. Relax. Breathing. So once again, all I'm doing is as I'm bringing the gun up, right when I get my sights up, not down, but up as if I was going to shoot at a target, that is when I can start taking up that slack on the trigger. Guys, this is the important part of this whole drill. Besides getting your finger on the trigger, you have to know when you can put your finger on the trigger. You have no business putting your finger on that trigger when the gun's pointed down, when the gun's pointed up, when you're doing a reload, those are all times where you're not basically engaging your sights. If I get to this position right here, as the gun's coming up and it's now aligned with the target, I can start taking up that slack. Because if I were to shoot, it'd be going towards the target. If I shoot from here, it's going into the ground that would be a disqualification. Yes, if you're doing a reload and you send around over the berm, that's a disqualification. In the real world, obviously there's no disqualifications. It's just a bad shoot. Once again, you can start getting your finger on that trigger once the, the sights are somewhat engaged and the barrel is pointing towards the target. Then as I come out to full extension, I am taking up the slack on the trigger, doing what they call a prep. Get out there, do your dry practice, do 10, 15 minutes a day. If you're liking this content, please hit that like button, give me that high five. And if this is your first time here, hit subscribe. This way you'll be getting the new content when I post it. This is Arik from Firearms Nation saying, join the nation and go do some dry practice.